Once you stop looking around, you'll start looking up. And we only look up when looking around hasn't worked. There's no escape. We want to escape, but God wants us to experience. We want to get out, but God wants us to go through. And when you reach that point where you run out of options, you turn to God. You want to know why many people are not living for God? Because they've got too many options. The world offers you options. But Jesus never gives you a bunch of options. He says, follow me and I'm not giving you a road map and I'm not giving you a brochure of what this trip's going to look like. You follow me wherever I go. And if I take you to a valley, walk in the valley and praise me. And if I take you through a fiery furnace or a lion's den, trust me. And if I take you to a mountain, praise me there too. But your job is to follow me and believe me and trust me. And when you've got too many options, you don't turn to the Lord. And I hate to tell somebody, but you might in 2020 run out of options because somebody's been fasting and praying for you and the party's going to dry up and the fun is going to run out and you're going to hit a place of desperation but praise God you're going to make the greatest discovery you've ever made that Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly and you can't find it sometimes most of us wouldn't be here if we hadn't run out of options these programs we support like the Dream Center and like New Beginnings and all these ministries and these homes that we build for these ladies in our church that were in the nine o'clock service and they, 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 they stood up and started screaming when I made this point. I said most of those people in those addiction programs wouldn't be there. They're not there because they just really got hungry for God. They ran out of options. They were either going to prison or going into a program where they heard heard about Jesus 24 hours a day. People laid hands on them and broke the power of Satan off of them and restored their families. And maybe you're in an addiction. Maybe you can't quit the alcohol and the drugs, but I serve the one who is able to set you free. Call on him. You've tried this. You've tried that. But Jesus is the answer. You hear me preaching out there. Jesus is the answer.